In today's video, you will learn how to install Windows 11 on a Mac computer. With this method, you can run Windows 11 on any kind of MacBook Pro or MacBook Air. And it doesn't matter what processor your Mac is running on. This method will work with all kind of processors. And that is coming up. Uh. As you can see here, I am using MacBook Pro, which is running on Apple M1 chip. The method I am going to show you will work on any kind of Apple chip, whether it's M1, M2, M3 and so on. Ok, in order to install Windows 11 on such kind of MacBook, just go to this website called Parallels.com. I will give the link in the description below. Once you are here, click on Try Free, which will open up another page. You can use the software for 14 days without paying anything. After 40 days, if you end up liking the software, then you can purchase a subscription. Ok, next, tap your email address to download the software. After that, check mark this option and click on submit. Then it will take you to this page. From here, you can click on download, which will start downloading the installer. Once the installer is downloaded, just double click on it and install the software in your Mac computer. Just go through this setup process. Once the software is installed, it will ask you for some permission. So just click on next. Click on allow. In short, give all the required permission. Ok, then click on finish. The next step is downloading the ISO file of Windows 11. You can either download ISO file by clicking on this blue button or if you already downloaded the ISO file, then you can click on open and add it here. So in my case, I'm gonna download a fresh version of Windows 11 from Microsoft website. So just select this option and click on continue. Click on install Windows. And then wait for the software to download Windows 11 on your Mac computer. This process will take time depending on your internet speed. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? For you, like and share is just a matter of clicks, but for me, it means a lot. So thank you so much if you do. Once the ISO file is downloaded, the installation of Windows 11 will start automatically by itself. So just wait for the software to install Windows 11 on your Mac computer. During the installation process, if you see a message like this, just click on continue trial. If you want to buy this software, you can do it by clicking on this option. So I'm just going to go with the free trial. Ok, next you have to create a parallel account. So just fill out this form. You can also sign in with your Apple account, Facebook account and Google account. After creating your account, just continue installing your Windows 11. Ok, now my Windows 11 is installed. Now you can use Windows 11 on a Mac computer without any problem. So as you can see, these are the files that are already added on my Windows machine. I have these files on my MacBook desktop. Now you can see, now this Windows machine is running on full screen mode. In order to minimize or access other features, just take your cursor to the top left or top right. Then you will see these options. This software has a very interesting feature and that is called coherence mode, which is right next to full screen. So first of all, let me exit the full screen to show you. If you click on coherence mode, what it will do is, it will allow you to access your Windows apps right from your MacBook desktop. To do that, just click on this Windows logo and as you can see, now I can access my Windows apps right from my MacBook desktop without opening the virtual machine. In order to get back to your Windows machine, just click it, then click on view, then click on exit coherence, which will bring up your Windows machine back. So I'm going to go to full screen mode. Okay. There are some settings that you can explore by yourself. If you click on settings and there are some options that you can explore by yourself and also some of these options will be unlocked if you buy a subscription of Parallel. In order to transfer files between your Windows and Mac computer, click on this folder icon. Click on add folder. Now select the folder 
that you want to add to your Windows machine. So in my case, I'm going to select my documents folder, then click on open. Click yes. And then you will see a folder on your desktop called Mac files. If you open it, these are the folders that I have given access to my Windows 11. In order to shut down or turn off your Windows 11, just take your mouse to right or left hand corner, then click on actions and click on shut down. In order to turn it back on, click on parallel desktop, click on this play button and your Windows 11 machine will start booting up. So there you have it guys, that is my video on how to install Windows 11 on a Mac computer. Please let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below, I would love to hear them. And also, if this video was helpful to you by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are one like and share means a world to me, so thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel and I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed, stay safe. Bye.